A local man who is battling a host of health problems has also found himself in a bitter battle with his neighbor over his service dog. Now facing a ton of citations and overwhelmed by the possibility of losing the dog, he decided to get more. She's a good dog. Her name's Paris France. Afternoon on Troy Hill, downtime for Paris France. The Golden Retriever is a trained, licensed service dog. She takes care of Matt Rowe. She keeps me alive. She wakes me up because I stop breathing in the middle of the night because of my throat. Matt Rowe is 57. He tells you flat out he's dying. I, I'm an extreme risk for heart attack. I have lung cancer. I have throat tumor and I've got a tumor in my stomach. In fact, you need surgery. Yes. But you're too weak to have the surgery? Correct, because of my heart condition. Owner's golden retriever is loose off its property. To make matters worse, he has a stack of citations regarding his dog, Paris. Failure to remove feces from the yard. Rose says all of the complaints trying to get rid of Paris from his next door neighbor. You could die right now. Right. Exactly. And you're getting messed with over this dog. Yeah. Day in and day out. Day in and day out. That's where we get involved. This email sent by Matt's best friend. I am reaching out to you to see if you can help my friend Matt Rowe, who is dying of cancer, is being harassed by his neighbor because his service dog barks. She calls the police. He was fined $200. Matt's my best friend. Gary McBurney is here to protect his best friend, make certain he gets the help he needs. That's terrible. He calls me all the time, and he asked me if I can do something for it. That's when I called you to see if you could help out. Can you tell me why you were complaining about a guy's dog barking? This is the neighbor. She's called animal control. She's called police. She says the dog doesn't have a license. She's right about that. I tried to reason with her. She had no interest in talking. Why can't you just leave him alone with the dog? It's a dog. He's, he's dying from cancer, man. Dog's not so, so that's okay with you. Regarding the dog, Paris, she's a licensed service dog, as we mentioned. She's registered as a service dog. She's constantly by Matt's side. It's a dog bag, right? Right. <laughs> we use it all the time. Matt now carries doggy bags and admits Paris has defecated in the yard in the past, but says he doesn't use the yard anymore. I actually checked the yard. Okay, we've walked the whole yard. I'm all the way on the other end of the yard. There's nothing here. She hasn't barked one time the whole time we're here. We were at the property an hour. I haven't seen a dog this mellow. I said it not guilty. There are citations. There have been issues. Matt says his cancer is overwhelming. He hopes to get better, thanks us for our help. He just wants to move if he can, and above all, keep his dog. How important is this dog to you? She's my life. She's 100% important. She's my life. Good girl. Good, good girl. So uh, you probably noticed we did not show the neighbor's face. We did not use her name. Our goal isn't to hurt her here, but to help Matt. The neighbor is actually very sick, and she honestly sick of the dog, and she's sick of Matt. She does not wish to comment for this story. Right. So how were you able then to help Matt? Okay. So there will be an attorney at his house tomorrow morning that we got for him a pro bono to take on these issues in court involving all the citations. Uh, also, John Weinstein, the county treasurer, will get all the licensing, proper licensing for the dog. And we have folks right now looking for a new place for Matt and his dog and his family so that this dispute, which ends up being a neighborhood dispute, right. yep. continues and he gets to keep that so that it ends and that he gets to keep his dog. Okay. Great. Marty, thanks. All right, Marty, thanks so much. And if you have a problem and want to get Marty, you can send an email to get Marty at kdka.com or call 412 575 2244. And visit kdka.com slash getmarty to see how he's making a difference one story at a time.